，春日起梅早，采桑惊啼鸟。风过扑鼻香，花开落知多少。春日起梅草，采桑惊啼鸟，风过扑鼻香，花开落知多少。Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick tutorial and insight. And today we're going to be talking about how to animate MetaHuman using the audio to face live link in the Unreal, Unreal Engine 5.3. So I've done a tutorial in the past. That uh, walked you through this in the Unreal, Unreal Engine 5.2. So this is an updated uh, tutorial. But first, let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and load one of these voices. Let's go to a Chinese lady. Okay, and let's play back. 胡俊透露，里面碧色昏黑，频频点刹车，红绢被甩出车外。胡俊透露，里面碧色昏黑，频频点刹车，红绢被甩出车外。胡俊透露，里面碧色昏黑，频频点刹车，红绢被甩。And let's try another one. So, guys, you know what's amazing is that this is streaming live into the Unreal Engine at 5.3, and this、uh, character that you see here is a metahuman that I created using the 3D scan store, and、uh, I used、uh, one of the Asian Heads,、uh, one of the characters that I come with a 3D scan store, awesome job by that、uh, the 1024 team. And so, let me walk you through how to go about achieving what you've just seen here. And by the way, it just it doesn't do just Chinese; it also does English. So let me just show you that real quick. So that's Chinese. Let's go to female voice English.、Uh, let's try this one right here. English voice. Let's try this one. Female. Tourism is also a significant contributor to Bangkok's economy, generating 427.5 billion baht, 13.38 billion dollars in revenue in 2010. Tour okay, that's cool. And what is really neat is over here. And you can see a lot of these details in the previous tutorial, but I'm just gonna go through real quick. Is that we're able to have enabled gaze, have enabled idle face, have enabled idle head, and those functionalities. Watch what happens. So I'm gonna pray. Tourism is also a significant contributor to Bangkok. So if I disable idle head, this whole procedure. Bangkok's economy, generating 427.5 billion baht, 13. Point so you don't see the extra idle head in there. So that's what's amazing. This is it adds an, a layer of facial animation and idle, and all of this can be recorded and used in the at,、uh, in the sequencer, right? So let me go ahead and、uh, put this back, and I'm gonna switch back to. The Asian voice, or the ch Chinese, female, Chinese. Let's try this one also, so you can see. Okay, and because I have this option selected over here that auto generates on track change, it automatically generates the emotion keyframe. So we're able to do facial animation. Layer that with a procedural emotion, and part of it it starts up here with the auto emotion, and then at the bottom you can also fine tune like the skin. If you want the skin to like look more live, like when the character is talking to the the, the skin stretching over the cheekbones, you can adjust that upper strength. Lord, there's so much in here. The blink strength. All of these are done and in real time, right? So if I play back real quick again, 
。春日起梅早，采桑惊啼鸟。风过扑鼻香，花开落知多少。That is amazing. That this is not an iPhone. It's not a head-mounted camera rig. All of this is coming from the the procedural animation that's coming from audio to face on ARM device, right? So the way you set this up, the what is different, guys? Again, compared compared to the previous tutorial, is that when you go to the launcher, right? It's now called a、uh, USD composer. <laughs> It used to be、uh, Omniverse Create. It's now USD composer. And you go to Audio to Face up at the top, right? If you haven't owned,、uh, installed Audio to Face, make sure you go to the Exchange over here and look in the App section, right? And you're gonna find the programs over here. Everything that you ever need to install is gonna be over here. So that's where you're gonna find Audio to Face, and then install it. And once you in install, it, it's gonna show up in your library over here. And make sure、uh, for the purpose of this. Tutorial. This is a 2023.2.0, right? So it has seen a lot of changes. And actually, when you go to the release notes over here, they will talk about all the different updates that they've added in here. So check check that out if you want to click just dig deeper, you know, into what all of this means, right? And what if you want to see more of that, just go ahead and read. Click on that link from the release notes over here now. To get the plugin, click on this little the icon right here for settings. Click on settings, right, and go to the audio to face, which is so you see the different versions that have been installed from the past. This is the most recent one, twenty twenty three dot two dot zero. So go to this folder, click browse to this folder, right, which is gonna be once you click here, it's gonna bring you to this folder. Right here, this folder, and it's no longer called Omniverse Live Link. It's called Ace. Ace stands for Avatar Cloud Engine, right? And in here are the plugins. So Audio to Face plugins, and you can see the different versions. So this is the、uh, the actual version that I have of Audio to Face. Go to UE plugins. Go to Audio to Face UE plugins. And in here you're gonna find the 5.3. So if you have 5.2, feel free to use that. But the newest one is 5.3. So you double click on that and copy this plugin folder. Go to your Unreal Engine, right? Wherever you have it installed, go to the engine, go to plugins, and then right click and paste. And as you can see, I already have it here. And then make sure you activate it inside of the Unreal Engine. So after you've done that, go back to your Unreal Engine. Go to Settings up here. Go to Plugins, and under Installed, you're gonna find NVIDIA Omniverse Ace Audio to Face. Make sure you check it. And then if it asks you to restart, make sure you restart the、uh, your computer or rather the engine. Restart、uh, the Unreal Engine, and it right now it's a、uh, version one dot zero dot one. So make sure it's that one. It's no longer Omniverse Live Link. It's Omniverse Ace Audio to Face. It's very very important. Okay. And now when you're ready, go to Window, go to Virtual Production, then bring up Live Link, and then Live Link over here. It's gonna be a click source, and you're gonna see it over here. All you gotta do is just click OK on this one, and it will show up. It will automatically show up, and it will be waiting for the、uh, animation data to start being sent from Omniverse Audio to Face. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to Omniverse. Once you're back in Omniverse, let me maximize this. Move this over here a little bit. Go to this folder right here, which is going to be with the default folder in the examples. And what you need to use is Clear Solved Air Kit or Mark Underscore Solved Air Kit. Those are the ones that are going to be able to drive 
the metahuman. It's already prepared. There's really nothing much you need to do except double click and open it. And when you open it, she's going to launch or Mark is going to launch. And then in the outliner over here, really what you need to do then is expand audio to face here. Click on stream live link. Let's expand this a little bit. And this one right here, the activate, it's going to be unchecked. And let me make this smaller so you can see the difference. So the moment I check it, I want to show you if I can show. Okay. Watch this here, the live link and also the character. The moment I click on it, you see how the character moved. So now it's ready to send the data over there, right? And then for the metahuman, make sure, like I'm pressing F10 right now to get out of uh, like full screen. No, not full screen, but uh, just uh, the viewport expanded, maximized. Uh, select the avatar over here. Make sure you go to the outliner, right? That's my metahuman. And in the details panel over here, make sure that audio to face is checked under error kit face subject. And also make sure that you enable use error kit face, this one right here. Okay. Now, once these are connected, you're ready to go. Any metahuman, as long as when you are in the metahuman creator, you send a 5.3 metahuman into your project and load it into your project, you'll be able to use this. Okay, so I'm going to press F10 again. So we really are ready to go once this is showing up here. We can go back to audio to face. And because this is in real time, all you got to do then is just load a different, you can even record your own audio and use it in here. So let's go to find another one like chicken is this one right here. Let's uh, save this so it doesn't crash on us. And let's press uh, play. And you see now that uh, the animation turns green. Once the character is playing back, it starts to stream in real time. And let me expand this over here just a little bit so we can see it better. Let's move this over here so we can see her. And then we have, okay, now we can start playing with a different setting. So in amazement, these are all the ones that are automatically generated. And I'm go, let's go ahead and uh, try some new audio files. Uh, let's see. So we have anger. Let's try that. And you can see it automatically added that. And also automatically generated the emotions over here. And you can see the different aspects of it. Let's go ahead and press play. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know what she's saying. I absolutely have no idea. I don't speak Chinese. If you speak Chinese, please let me know what she's saying. I hope she's not cussing you out. Because <laughs> I always don't know what she's saying. So if you're speaking Chinese, please give me, help me out. Help help a brother out and let me know what she's saying. Let's try fear. 春日起美早, 彩桑金啼鸟, 风过扑鼻香, 花开落, 知... What does 风过扑鼻香 mean? <laughs> I really don't know. All right, let's try joy. 春日起美早,彩桑金啼鸟。风过扑鼻香,花开落,知多少? All right, guys, so that was my uh, tutorial today. And uh, insight is that I was trying to walk you through uh, how to use audio to face with the Unreal Engine 5.3. And we we're going to recap real quick. You need to go to this path, which you're going to find from installing audio to face 2023.2.0 click on that 
I, I can right there, click on settings and click on this, which is gonna bring you to this folder right here. Copy the UE plugin, like from 2023 UE plugins, audio to face, copy ACE, this one, copy that and paste it inside of your Unreal Engine plugins folder and then make sure you activate it inside of the Unreal Engine, right? Make sure you go here, plugins, activate it, and then if it asks you to restart your engine, do please restart it. And then when you're ready, go to Window, Virtual Production, Live Link, right? And load it up, add a source, Omniverse, click OK, and there you'll be able to add it over here, right? That is the, that's what you need to do. And then once it's ready, you just go back to over here in uh, Omni Audio to Face, expand Audio to Face, and then click on Stream Link and activate it. And then start playing with all these other settings, adjust the idle, the idle head, idle face, all those. And then also, play with the emotion, just change the emotion settings in here, but also try out different voices. And we'll just play this as uh, the last one. Just... And that was the insight. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I'm looking forward to see what you guys make with this. But uh, the, in my next uh, tutorial, next video, I'm going to show you how to export all of this and uh, use it, use the information, the animated data inside of the sequencer so that you can tell a story. Because ultimately, you need to be able to use this data to tell a story, not just for the <laughs> showing off. <laughs> we are storytellers, you know, so find a way to always convey this data and put it in a way. But it might be just wanting to do like a, a news reporter maybe a character who is part of your animated film, uh, maybe it's uh, something that you're trying to pitch, or you want to show case like language or your voice acting abilities, uh, this is one way to do it because you have the metahumans that look realistic and beautiful and you can have real-time lighting inside of the Unreal Engine so that you can showcase for your art director or for your team how, what all this you know, looks like before you decide to make a final decision or final render, right? So thank you so much, guys, for, join, for um, joining me today. Uh, please stay blessed as always, dare to dream big, never give up on your dream, and I'm always, always praying for you. Bye for now, and stay safe.